I think that the border problem is a ser serious problem, dude. I think that soon it's going to be the Hunger Games type issue, you know what I mean? But What would you like to see happen down there? I would like to see Trump get into office and eliminate the presidency. Simple as that. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And picture this. A dude so blitzed he's convinced that the U.S. border will morph into a saga of the Hunger Games if Donald Trump is not elected. This is a type of bonehead who'd mistake clay paper for toilet paper. There shouldn't even be a president. Our company shouldn't be a corporation. Our, our country, my bad, shouldn't be a corporation. Simple as that. And there's a lot of pe evil people ruling this but world. He, he's running for the presidency Doubt, yes. doubtful he'll eliminate the presidency right i hope he does yeah. i hope he does because our forefathers didn't they wanted as little government as possible for a reason but wait there's more this self-proclaimed expert whose grasp of reality seems as shaky as a jenga tower in a hurricane wants to uphold law and order by breaking the law follow the law shut down the border come up with a process where people can come in and i i believe wholeheartedly that we should have some type of roundup. His desire to shut down the asylum process, a legal right by the way, while preaching about maintaining lawfulness is like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. It just doesn't add up. Perhaps he should stick to wearing his Trump attire and leave the policy making to those with a firmer grip on reality. If you don't report in by March 31st of next year to some town police department or something like that and you don't have a card that says you should be here and you get found here in somebody's kitchen or in a butchery or in a field or something like that don't blame us so we have to regulate who comes into the country and who's paying taxes okay we have to stop the wars of the world we have to meet with the leaders of the world and say enough is enough no wars Stop! It's ironic, isn't it? The type of people who splurge on foreign-made clothes yet grumbles about inflation all while parading around in patriotic gear. Don't come here illegally and take over our country and then try to change it to be your country. What's the one thing you want to see him do on day one should he be elected again to the presidency? Finish the wall. He's got to finish the wall. Even up here in New Hampshire that's an issue. Absolutely. Well, I think we're in, we're in borrowed time in this country right now. We need a fighter, and let's face it, whether you like him or don't like him, he's a fighter. He's a guy that, you know, continues to do what he thinks is, right, is right to save the country. We have a lot of problems right now that need to be fixed for the younger generations to have a future. I have two granddaughters, 10 and 5 years old, and I want them to grow up in a country where they have opportunity, where inflation doesn't wipe out money that making, where we have a reasonable uh, immigration policy, not anything goes policy. It's a, it's a free for all, drugs, and people are coming in that are criminals. It's quite the spectacle, isn't it? Trump loyalists in New Hampshire fretting over immigrants, rushing to the icy embrace of the Granite State to snatch away their jobs. It's like worrying that penguins are plotting to take over the Sahara Desert. It's just plain ludicrous. These folks seem to have mastered the art of complaining for the sake of complaining. They're like a broken record, endlessly spinning tales of woe without offering an ounce of constructive input. Michael Shore sure has a knack for shining a spotlight on the shadow thinking and blatant hypocrisy of some individuals, especially those outside of Trump rallies. It's like he's wielding a truth-seeking spotlight in a room full of smoke and mirrors. His fact-based reporting must feel like a cold slash of reality to the Trump faithful, who often seem to be running low on original thoughts and high on recycled rhetoric. Kudos to Shore for fearlessly exposing the contradictions and double standards that seem to run rampant in the Trump circle. By holding up a mirror to their hypocrisy, he's doing a valuable service in challenging them to engage in more meaningful dialogue and critical thinking. Keep on keeping them honest, Michael. We support you. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.